Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we will talk about association rules. So, association rules actually implements FB growth frequent pattern mining algorithm with bucketing optimization for conditional databases of a few items. This is a sample for association rule. Uh, the, 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 the simple question can you identify these rules if you have a data set? Can you identify these rules? For example, if you are talking about uh, a supermarket or a market, food market, whatever. Can you buy something and based on the what you bought, can you buy something else and you can identify this as a rule? For example, if you, um, uh, for example, uh, buy root vegetables, here you, you be, most of the people will buy whole milk. So this is a rule. So can you identify all these rules from your uh, 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 data set that you have based on these measurements? The answer is absolutely yes. So uh, to do this, uh, you need to understand um, uh, these uh, few measures for uh, the rules uh, to happen. Uh, the first one is support. Support is how often a rule is applicable to a given data set. Confidence, how frequent item in Y appears in a transaction with X, or in other words, how frequent the rule is true. Coverage is how often antecedent item is found in the data set. Strength, it supports of uh, uh, consequent over support of antecedent. Left is how frequent a rule is a true per consequent item. And the last one is leverage, which is the difference between the two items appearing in a transaction and the two items appearing independently. So this is, uh, for example, um, uh, a simple data set. Uh, this is the antecedent and this is the consequent and this is the co consequent so for example if we take the second item if you uh, it identified from your data set that if you buy uh, canned uh, canned vegetables nuts and computer magazines you will buy definitely fresh vegetables because most of the customers have this habit or have this you know rule so we call it association rule so we have antecedent and we have the consequent. So if you buy something, you will buy something else. And if you identify all these uh, rules, you as owner for a, a huge supermarket, you will understand that, for example, uh, the, there are some association rules between the items that you have in your supermarket. So you can uh, always get prepared uh, with the proper numbers of items in your shelves. So uh, this is, for example, the support zero, the confidence is one, the coverage is zero, the uh, strength is, uh, is uh, 17, 6, 8, and the uh, lift is 3.5, and the uh, leverage is zero. So how to do this uh, in uh, Orange Data Mining? It's actually straightforward implementation. Let's go into uh, Orange and uh, try to um, do this. So I will use a data set, okay? I will bring the data set and from data set I will use food uh, mart 2000 you can uh, search for it from here you can click food for example and this is the food uh, mart 2000 okay so if you open this one uh, as a data table it will uh, bring you this data set okay so these are the uh, items and number of uh, uh, times you purchase this items so from all these items, can you identify the association rule? The answer is absolutely yes. What we will do, we will use the associate uh, panel. This is the associate panel. You can download it from here, from ads on, and you can uh, go into associate. This is the associate. You can click on it and you can click OK till you install it and then you restart your application and it will appear here. So the first one I will use is the frequent item, frequent item. So I will connect this data set to, to this frequent item. And from the frequent item, if you double click, you can uh, identify uh, items based on the uh, minimum, minimal support and maximum number of items. You can identify this. So uh, you click then find items, you will identify all these items based on your 
criteria. So this is, for example, the fresh vegetables in your data set is 17,684. And for example, the fresh uh, fruit is 10,926 and so on and so forth. So this is the first one. You can identify how many items appear in your data set based on the uh, rules uh, you associated or based on the criteria you set here. This is the first one. The second one is you connect this to uh, associate rules, which is this one here, associate rules. Okay. And from associate rules, you double click and you first identify your criteria, uh, your association criteria. For example, the minimum support, minimum confidence, maximum rules, whatever you can put, uh, you can increase, decrease, whatever you want. And then you click find rules. And based on find rules, it identify all the rules <coughs> in your data set. For example, let's take the first one. Fresh fruit, if you buy fresh, fresh fruit as antecedent, you will definitely, uh, not maybe definitely as definitely, but uh, you will most likely buy fresh vegetables based on this confidence, based on this support and coverage and strength and lift and leverage. These are the numbers. For example, if you click here, the most you know, this is the most uh, frequent maybe item. The first one is uh, if you always buy shampoo, you, then you will uh, buy fresh vegetables, for example. It has uh, 0.3 confidence and the support is 0.013. If you click in the support to get the most uh, items, maybe this is the item. If you buy from support perspective, if you buy fresh uh, uh, fruit, you will buy fresh vegetables and so on and so forth. This is actually very important for the people to find some rules in the data. Remember, we're not talking about features. We're talking about the data itself. We need to identify the rules from the data that you have. This is exactly what's happening. And um, uh, the people who are looking for a solution for their problems will definitely go into this because they wanted to see all the association rules between their items, as you can see from here. So this is a very important subject. I wanted really to show it to you, uh, show how you uh, do this. It's as simple as this. And also you can connect this to data table. Okay, and you can extract, for example, the uh, match items. So you can select, for example, these items and you can then uh, print them here. And also you can click uh, and you can uh, um, connect the association rules with data table. Okay. And also you can uh, extract the rules if you want. You can extract the rules and these are the, the rules. Okay. You can also export this to uh, save data and you can save it the way that you that you want so this is the association uh, rules i hope that you enjoyed the lesson uh, we will also continue with other uh, lessons uh, and many topics that they're coming uh, uh, soon i hope that you um, enjoying orange data mining orange data mining is really um, a very flexible and very rich tool that you can use to do data, data mining ai uh, and data science uh, applications and uh, apply on anything you want from data mining to data analysis and so on and so forth. So we'll see you in our next lesson. Till then, uh, enjoy data mining.